Hi friends, uh, good morning everyone. I hope all of you are doing good and uh, enjoying with SAP. If you came to our channel for the first time, click on subscribe button. And if you like our videos, keep sharing with your close circle. You can check our playlist to find the exact videos, what exactly you want to learn and from which topic and uh, whether you want to learn from material management or warehouse management or uh, any specific uh, technical things. We have a bunch of videos on our channel. So please go through and uh, learn whatever you can. Okay, in this video, I'm going to tell you about um, just a small information. Uh, what is SAP for me? So earlier SAP service marketplace, when you go in the support uh, home is different. Now uh, it is uh, on June 29th onwards, it was completely SAP for me. I'm just going to show you that how does it look like because it's uh, just my personal uh, login. So you can also just register and enter it. But if you log in with your company account, then you will see a lot of uh, documents and many other details that you can search. So you go to SAP Service Marketplace. You can directly enter in Google SAP Service Marketplace login. I like that. You can give it. SAP service marketplace login. Then you will get uh, this link, the first one, click on that. Here you can see that multiple options which you can go through. You can see the cases or any kind of downloads which are available. Okay, but if you go with a normal registered login, which you can register it, right? So SAP for me, once you come here, you can see here starting from June 29th, when accessing SAP one support launch pad, you are directly redirected to SAP for me without further prompts. Last few months, we used to get a prompt, but uh, now everything in SAP for me. So if you come for the first time, you can register. Uh, if you have done the certification, you can register with your yes user ID. Or uh, if you, are, you have not done any uh, certification and you don't have any ID, then you can register like how we register for the normal email. Okay, So in that way, you can register it. So here, if you come and uh, see the view cases, so you can see, and uh, for example, if you want to search any SAP note, okay. So like I mentioned that if you log in, uh, if you register like a normal external user, you won't uh, have many kind of uh, options. You can see here, you are signed in with a P user ID. Okay, my user ID is P. So if you are signing with a P user ID, Visitors with an uh, S user ID will benefit from more tools and enhanced functionality. That's what I mentioned that S user ID will be available from your company. If you're working, you can get your S user ID from your manager or uh, from your team so that you can go through and uh, see any latest documentation and all. Okay, if you are going with the P user ID, just a free login, what you can register, that will not give you uh, much flexibility to whatever you're going to check it. Okay. So you can see here and you can search for um, SAP notes, okay? So for example, if you want to search for any SAP note, uh, that also you can search it. See from here itself, you can search for a SAP note. What kind of SAP note you wanted to look for? So just give the SAP note number here. Let me uh, find any one SAP note. So how to search, I can teach you. But like I mentioned that we logged in with P user ID. So we will not have uh, uh, much information, but uh, please log in with S user ID, which you are uh, having from your company. And uh, if you have done the register SAP certification, that kind of uh, ID, you can utilize it. So that uh, you can see more details. So for example, I will search with uh, SAP note 392205. So 392205, you can input that uh, number and click on search button. So that SAP will show you that SAP note. Like I mentioned that uh, uh, we are using P user ID, you will not get it. But how to search SAP note, I hope you can learn from this one. So you can use this view cases and uh, get support. Uh, SAP has introduced this expert chart. So while searching your issue, system will show you that list of um, 
uh, available community answers in SAP SCN community or available SAP notes, it will show you first. Okay. So once you are uh, going uh, properly, if there is no information is available, then uh, you can uh, just raise a ticket to that uh, team. So if you go with your uh, S user ID and search all these options, you will see the screen is different and you can able to chat with SAP experts directly. So I hope uh, I just wanted to give an introduce like what is SAP for me? If you are listening or if you are reading anywhere, SAP for me is our year to year uh, service marketplace. Uh, how SAP support is to be available? The launch pad is changed with the new options and uh, you can take your uh, company's ID and go through uh, by using SAP for me to explore the different options available. I always uh, at least uh, once in a month or once in two months I raise SAP notes so I'm familiar with these uh, sites. So you can uh, take your ID and just check it. You don't have to raise a ticket but at least you can use this KBA and notes and uh, they, there you can search for the SAP notes and uh, read uh, solutions from SAP. I hope this video has given an insight. I cannot give you complete picture because I'm not using any ID uh, to show you in detail, but I wanted to convey how to search on your own. I tried my best to provide you. And uh, if I plan something better than this video, I will definitely think in the future. And thanks for your time. And if you like our video, uh, please share with your SAP cycle. Thanks for watching.